Danny Cole went in motion. Ryan Williams. For a yard, and that's all. Rico McCoy, the leading tackler for Tennessee with his 113th of the season. Well, if Virginia Tech's going to run the ball. Those inside three have to play well. Tennessee has two very good defensive tackles. There's Williams again. Tackled by Chris Walker. After a gain of two more, it'll be third down and seven. Tennessee defensively in their first year under legendary coordinator Monty Kiffin. Most of the pass rush comes from Chris Walker. He has a team high six sacks. They have only 20 sacks as a team. McCoy needs 15 tackles tonight to finish his career in the top five all time at Tennessee. He said that's a major goal tonight and it's likely the last game of his career for Eric Berry the junior from nearby Fairburn Georgia in suburban Atlanta. Team leading sixth interception of the season. Taylor wants to capitalize quickly and he's on target to Jared Quicken who is spun down inside the 25 by Rico McCoy. Had a terrific senior season. Played his way into a high NFL draft pick. And Ryan Williams bounces ahead for a couple. Rico McCoy in there again. So he's off to a good start in his quest for those 15 tackles he needs to get into the top five all-time at Tennessee. Started tonight with 343 career tackles. Tenth all-time in Knoxville. You know, I've always said that the best linebackers are former running backs. And the reason I say that is because you have to have the same vision as a linebacker as you do as a running back. Because you're anticipating things, anticipating cuts and holes. Rico does that very well. Former teammate of mine with the Washington Redskins. Williams now has the single season rushing record of Virginia Tech, and he almost had another touchdown. He needed 110 yards to start the night. And he's at 114 now after that carry. And Rico McCoy chopped him down just short of the goal. 24 yards rushing for Tyrod Taylor tonight. Pressured. 